What's going on YouTube? On today's video, we're going to talk about pre-shot routine and why I think that is one of the most important things for the mental part of billiards. A pre-shot routine is pretty much a routine what you're going to do before you actually approach the cue ball. What I like to do is when I see the cue ball itself, for example on this shot, I have the one ball placed on the first diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail. And I know I have to get positioned for the two ball on the first diamond on the short rail. What I like to do is chalk, chalk my cue and analyze the table itself. The biggest thing is, is when you're chalking your cue, you are thinking when you're standing up. You never think when you're on a down position when you're take, taking the shot. So this is the time to actually look at the table and think of the position and the speed control on how you're gonna do this. That's why you see people chalk. So I know when I'm doing this, this is not seeing if my cue is actually smooth. This is telling me this is how much speed I need to apply it on the cue ball. And once I get that, I will analyze this also and see what path my cue ball is gonna take to get me to the two ball. So what I'm gonna do is think about what shot I have and what object, uh, objectives I have in the way. Since this is only two balls, this is pretty simple. What I'm gonna do is apply a little bit of draw to get off the first cushion here and try to bring it to this area. So that is what we are doing on a pre-shot routine. Everything is thinking when you're standing up. So this is my pre-shot routine. I'll do my chalking. I'll get my analyze the table and see where my cue ball is gonna go. Measure the speed itself. Once I get to that part that, part that I am comfortable with and getting my alignment, I'll go down to the shot, line up. As you notice, when I came down to the cue ball, I wanted to do a close bridge. I came down with a close bridge. I did not come down with an open bridge then go to a close bridge. That's why when I was doing my previous videos with the stroke, is you wanna come, whatever you're gonna come down with, what, what bridge you're gonna use, come down with that bridge. So I'm gonna do a close bridge. So I go down to a close bridge, aim. For your pre-shot routine, you want to have your routine as simple as possible, but not too simple where you're actually missing steps. The biggest thing is what I like to do, like I said before, is I actually like to chalk and think at the same time. That tells me what I need to do, if I need to do a follow shot, a stop shot, or a draw shot. Once I know what shots I'm going to take, now, I don't know, now I'm going to analyze the table on how that cue ball is going to act if I do a follow shot, stop shot, or a draw shot. And I'm trying to get into an area of where I want that cue ball to actually land at. And once I get that, I'm measuring my speed. That's why you'll see a lot of pool players do this, is we're measuring our speed. We're measuring how much stroke we need. Because that's probably one of the hardest things to actually develop in builders is getting the speed control. You'll, as you keep playing, you'll figure out where the cue ball is going. But you'll notice your speed control is gonna be one of the most difficult to actually master. I hope this video is informative. My next video is going to be on English side spin and how to measure your the, the side spin itself. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye bye.